Hey friends, welcome back to our urban homestead. We are getting um, some really chilly weather. So for the next 10 days, our high is only going to be 60 degrees. And uh, that means it's fall, y'all. <laughs> and I've been craving something, but it's just been too darn hot to eat. And that is goulash. And that is what I'm making tonight. And it's going to be so good. I'm going to be using everything I already, you know, have on hand. You don't need any special ingredients. Most of the things are going to be things that I have already canned. Um, and then things that I have in my freezer and in my pantry. So I've got some ground beef here. And then I took some of my peppers and onions out of the freezer. And we're going to brown. I'm going to turn my heat up. We are gonna brown this. I'm gonna add some garlic powder. Uh, some of the onion powder. Ooh. If you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it. Onion powder. Some salt and some pepper. And I don't know if there's any salt in here. Oh, I refilled it. <laughs> some salt and some pepper. And then I'm just going to brown this, let this get all nice and brown and let these uh, pepper and onion cook down. And I'll bring you back. Some other things I'm using from the pantry are my Italian stewed tomatoes. If you have not tried this recipe and you are a canner, I'm going to link it at the end of the video. I seriously can just with a spoon eat these. They are so good and lighting's horrible, but so beautiful. Uh, definitely try that. I got some of my homemade tomato sauce, some of my uh, red beans that I canned, and then I just got some tomato paste out in case I need it. Okay, so I'll see you guys back when this is done. And who doesn't love goulash, right? Goulash is really one of those things that I think every family has their own recipe for. Uh, like my mother, her, or my mom, her mother was Hungarian. And I can remember being little and she, when she would make goulash, hers had like corn and green beans and it was a much soupier goulash. My mom, when she would make it, she used salsa um, to make hers. And I have my own way of making it. So I think goulash is one of those things that it varies from family to family. Uh, how do you make your goulash? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to hear it. All right, so Our burger is browned, our peppers and onions are nice and soft, and I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I do next. All right, so I um, drained and rinsed my beans. I don't like a lot of beans in my goulash for some reason. And then I'm gonna add a whole pint of the Italian stewed tomatoes I'm telling you, these are so good. I seriously could just eat a whole jar. <laughs> and then my tomato sauce. That's just plain tomato sauce. Uh, nothing added to it. Okay. 
And then I'm gonna add maybe a couple tablespoons of tomato paste just to thicken it up a bit. And I'm gonna let this simmer for about 30 minutes. I do want to give it a quick taste just so I can make sure the seasoning is good. Mm, so good. I'm going to add a bit of crushed red pepper flakes. So my camera stopped working. <laughs> uh, I added crushed red pepper flakes and just a little bit of black pepper. And I'm gonna let this simmer for 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna make the pasta and we'll throw it all together. Okay, so I have a pound of elbow macaroni that I've cooked to under al dente. And the reason for that is, is because uh, well, two reasons. One, April's not going to be home until about 9.30 tonight. It's about 7.30. And um, reason number two is because I'm going to let the noodles sit in the sauce and it's going to soak up that sauce and cook the noodles until they are perfect. Um, so, yeah. I know that, you know, might be like, that's a lot of goulash for two people, but you know what? The best part of goulash is, in my opinion, is goulash for lunch the next day. Because anything, any tomato product, chili, spaghetti, anything with tomatoes, cabbage rolls, my absolute favorite cabbage rolls, um, Everything's better the next day. I don't know why. Tomato products are just gringo, get down. Uh, so much better the next day. I absolutely love them. Okay, so just gonna mix the noodles and the sauce together. And um, I can't resist a taste. So I'm <laughs> gonna have a little bite. I just wanna make sure it's safe, you know? April's gonna be mad because I only put one can of beans in. Um, but I won't be. <laughs> I won't be mad. <laughs> It's so nice outside. All of the windows are open. Got some cool breeze coming in. Love it. Love this time of year. This is so hot. <laughs> Mic drop. My work here is done. Mm. My work here is done. So, because I'm chubby, I like to put shredded cheese on top of my goulash. Sometimes Parmesan cheese. Um, yeah. So, here is my goulash. And it is freaking amazing. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every single one of you. Love your comments. Ooh. Love your comments. So leave me a comment below. Uh, like this video. And um, until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.